So you wanna start targeting people on Instagram. That's a good call. There are 500 million daily active users. 90% of them engage with a brand in some way, shape or form, whether they follow them or engage with their ads. And 60% of people say that they find new products or services to purchase on Instagram. So it's a good place to be. The first thing I wanna talk about is actually how the organization is set up. So Instagram is owned by Facebook. So that means that a couple of things with setting up Instagram only campaigns actually have to go through Facebook first. And the first thing to know is that Instagram ads, when you manage a campaign, it's actually gonna be done through Facebook Business Manager. So if you're looking for an Instagram ads manager, there isn't one, you can quit doing that. Same thing with a conversion tracking or retargeting pixel. You're gonna use the same Facebook ads pixel that you already have on your site, more than likely, because there is no Instagram specific pixel. So I wanted to get those two things out of the way pretty quickly and hopefully save you some time trying to find the Instagram version of them because there just isn't one. You're gonna do all of it through the Facebook business manager that you're probably already using. So with that, let's start getting into the things that actually are Instagram specific because that's why you came to see this video, not just me talking about all the ways that it's still just part of Facebook. So today what we're going to talk about is how to make sure that your ads are only targeting users on Instagram. And then we're going to talk about how to make sure that it's coming from your Instagram profile and a way you can get around that if you don't have an Instagram account choice. Um, but then the last thing we're going to talk about are audiences that are specific to Instagram and how people engage with you. So let's hop in. This video is brought to you by Shape, an all-in-one PPC budgeting solution designed for you to control, organize, and collaborate on PPC ad spend at scale. Ready to start saving some time? Check out the link below to learn all about Shape. So the first thing to know when setting up an Instagram ads campaign is that the name I just used is a little bit misleading because all of the campaign level settings are gonna be the same that they will be for Facebook. So where we're gonna start is actually going to be at the ad set level. When you're at the ad set level in your Facebook business manager campaign, you're going to scroll down past all of the different targeting pieces and go to placements. This is where we'll set up something as Instagram specific versus being on Facebook and the audience network and all that sort of thing. So the original setup is going to be automatic placements recommended. This is gonna be basically the run of the Facebook network where you're eligible, but just click the radio dial next to manual placements and it'll open up all of the additional pieces here. You'll still see devices, all that good stuff. But one quick and easy way to make sure that you're targeting just Instagram is to start off with this platforms piece here. So if we just just uncheck Facebook, audience network, and messenger. You can see that the only option left is Instagram and they've grayed it out because you have to have at least one of these chosen to have your ads run. So they've basically made it impossible for us to uncheck Instagram. But now all of the placements down below here have adjusted to only be the Instagram specific placements. So you'll see that most of these are unchecked, but we do have three left over. So Instagram feed, Instagram Explore and Instagram Stories. So if you wanna run only an Instagram campaign, this is where you'll need to do the bulk of your work. You need to make sure that only the placements for Instagram Newsfeed, Explore and Stories are chosen. That way you'll know that you're only on the Instagram network and you're not anywhere else across the Facebook platform. The next thing I wanna talk about is the identity and where your ad is being promoted from. For Facebook ads, you always have to have a Facebook page tied to it. And Instagram ads are similar, but there is a little bit of a caveat. So you'll see here that we have the Paid Media Pros Facebook page and Instagram account tied directly to this ad. And on Instagram, it will show that the ad is coming from the Paid Media Pros Instagram account. Now I do have one in here that does not have an Instagram account. I wanna show you what that looks like. So the account we've chosen here actually doesn't have an Instagram account tied to their Facebook business manager. So when I chose them from the dropdown, there's an option down here that just says use selected page. And that means that your Instagram ad will show that it is coming from the Facebook page. This isn't really a problem, but I would still suggest that if you are going to run ads on only Instagram, or even if you're gonna run ads on both platforms, you really should have your Instagram account tied to your Facebook business manager. So it will show up as coming from your Instagram account. To set that up, it's really not that hard. You can either click this blue link that says add Instagram account, or you can hop into your business manager business settings. Once you're on this page, you'll see all of the typical stuff on the left-hand side. You'll just scroll down to Instagram accounts. 
You can see that ours is already added here, but you just click this blue add button and then you can go through just two quick steps to add an Instagram account. You just click connect your Instagram account. It'll prompt you to add your username and password, and then you just assign it to the add account that you want to use it for. Pretty simple. Then once you have everything tied together, it actually will automatically choose the account for you. So once I shift this back to the paid media pros page, Facebook will automatically populate the Instagram account that's tied to the ad account. So you usually won't have to do this unless you have multiple accounts tied together or something like that. The last piece I wanna talk about are Instagram specific audiences. We're able to target people based on how they engage with our Facebook page and our Instagram profile, since those users don't have to come to our website. What I wanna show you is how to create audiences of people who have engaged with only your Instagram profile, not your Facebook profile. So we'll come over here to create audience, click custom audience. And then out of all of the sources we have available, we have website, which is a typical one customer list, but down here for use Facebook sources, you'll see that one is specific to Instagram. The Facebook version is down here, but we want to use this Instagram version. It'll populate your Instagram account. And if you have multiple, you can choose which one you want to use from the dropdown. But then you have this dropdown here that we can choose how people engaged with our business. So this includes everyone who engaged with your business, whether it was your ad or the business profile or or anything like that. You can also do anybody who visited your business profile, engaged with any post or ad, messaged your business, or saved any post or ad to their profile. Then just like any other audience on the Facebook network, you can change the date range that you want it to be through. You can give it a name and hit create audience. Then that audience will populate among all of your other audiences and you can use it in the exact same way as you do anything else. And that's it. It's pretty simple to set up an Instagram only campaign within Facebook Business Manager. All you need to do is make sure that you have the right placements chosen. Ideally, you'll use your Instagram profile as opposed to a Facebook profile. And then make sure you leverage those audiences with how people are actually engaging with your Instagram account, not just your website or your Facebook profile. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week. So if you want to get notified of when a new one comes out, be sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel.